Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Chinooks! Another week has gone by and we are here to bring you your weekly updates. Here we go. Miss Anderson, this week we have been spending some time and signing our school-wide agreements. So thank you students that have already signed it. If you haven't signed it yet, we will be coming by and having you sign that. Expectations. Awesome, and what a great example of collaboration. True. So this month, we have been spending a lot of time building collaborative communities, which is communities that are all working together to hit a common goal. And we do have a guest with us here to talk more about that. Yes, we do. Mr. Harlan, come on down. Take it away, Harlan. Hello, Chinooks. We are here with our friend Harlan from second grade, and he's in Miss Oberg's class. And we have been focusing on collaboration this month. Ms. Anderson, what does collaboration mean? To me, it means having a common goal and working together with others to achieve it. We have the same question for Harlan. Harlan, what does collaboration mean to you? Helping others. Mm -hmm. Helping others, I like that. Can you tell us some ways that you have helped your classmates? Sometimes I, um, I help people uh, cleaning up. And can I ask you a question, Harlan? Can you think of a time where you have worked together with people in your class for a common goal? Yes, um, we work hard, we work good, and we work great and perfect. And did you, at the beginning of the year, I know you guys made your hopes and dreams. Did you do that all by yourself? Together. Together? What did that look like? My desk mate, Landon and Julian, they, they told me their hopes and dreams about this school. Oh. And then did you put your ideas together? Yes. Okay, so you collaborated to make your hopes and dreams. Yes. Awesome, Harlan. We are so thankful to have Harlan on our team and to help guide us in that collaboration because collaboration is a really important component to having a healthy school environment. So Harlan, we want to say thank you for all of your hard work. You're welcome. All right, yesterday we were able to meet with several of your parents and our teachers to help work together to make Clackamas River a great community space in our first PTO meeting of the year. If you have a parent who you would like to have be part of the PTO, please have them watch for next month's information to come out. They can attend either here at the school or virtually. And Ms. Anderson, coming up we have our fall family night on the 27th and this is going to be so much fun that night we're going to be decorating pumpkins there's going to be games in the pod and there's dinner pizza's coming yummy and don't forget to wear those costumes and also if you want to bring a pumpkin that is decorated as your favorite book character look in the s'more for the form that you can fill out to enter yourself in that contest and then miss anderson we have our read days, which have been really successful for our students, and we have next one coming up on October 21st. We also have one on the 28th. Yeah, and then only one more before the Thanksgiving break. So we are so excited. That number started with about 50 kids attending. We've more than doubled that. So about a quarter of our school comes every single Friday to have fun and learn in small communities. So thank you for those who are attending. Thank you for the RSVPs. They really help us get our numbers going. And next week, we will not have our weekly video because we get to be in person for our school-wide assembly on the 27th. And during that assembly, we will be recognizing students and staff that have been collaborating within our building. And I'm really excited to be recognizing them and their hard work. Awesome. And then when we look ahead to next month, we want you to go ahead and check your calendar from the school because we have movie night coming up. So we are going to set a time for that based on what we see at this next event. And then we will get that out to you as soon as we can. All right, we have trivia. We're gonna be drawing our names for that trivia. I just wanna let students know that we are collecting data 
on our trivia. We're collecting on how many people are participating and also the percentage of correct responses in that. Uh, a big piece is when you walk by the wall, you can see the trivia posters up there. You can see student work. And we're also breaking it down to see which classes are turning that in and how many students are participating within that class. So that's something to celebrate. We want as many people participating in the trivia as possible. We also have two students that will be modeling our trivia for you. So we have a K through two student that's gonna be modeling and then also a three through five. So they're gonna take it away and they're gonna show us what they did and we are gonna draw names for the winners. Hello Chinooks, I'm here with Willow in first grade and she's in Mrs. Freeze's classroom. She is going to help us solve that K through two trivia from last week. Willow, take it away. Willow, great job solving that. We're super proud of you. Keep up that great work. We can't wait to see the rest of you working hard. Take care. Hello Chinooks, I'm here with Corbin Gardner and he's in Miss Arnett's class and he is going to help us with that trivia question for the third through fifth graders. Corbin, are you ready? Yep. Okay. The question was, there are 220 seats for students in the cafeteria. Currently, 134 of them are being used. How many seats are empty? Corbin, what's important in this information? Well, you need to underline 220 seats and 134 of them are being used. Okay, so it sounds like the, the total number, we have a total of 220 in our cafeteria and 134 of them are being used. So what kind of operation are we gonna to use to help solve this question? Subtraction. Subtraction, all right, Corbin. Let's give you that special magical marker. Let's do your work. So 220 students. Okay, so we have 220 and we're subtracting. Okay, so can you tell me, Corbin, how come we couldn't just take four away from zero? Because zero is smaller than four. Oh, okay, so if you say you have zero of something, you can't give me four of that, right? No. Okay, all right, so we had to borrow and regroup those numbers, all right. So the zero became a what? A 10. A 10, because we borrowed a 10 from our 10's place value and added it over here. So 10 plus zero is? 10 plus zero is 10. 10, okay, 10. And then we took four away to give us what? Six. Six, okay. And we have, we had a 12 here. How did we get the 11? Because we had to cross 12 out and then put the one over here. Okay, and so now we have 11 groups of 10, right? Yep. Okay, so we have 11, take away what? Okay, and what's that? Eight. All right, and what do we have in our hundreds place value? Uh, a one and a one. A one, and how many are we taking away? One. One, and that gives us a? Zero. So how many seats are empty? 86. 86 seats are empty. Awesome job, Corbin. I appreciate your help. Teamwork. All right, Chinooks. Let's see what this trivia question is for this week. Stay tuned. Out of our K through two, I've got Amelia. 
All right, Amelia, nice work. We'll take a look at yours and you can come on down and get a prize. All right, and our three through five. Gonna dig into this bucket, find what we get. Okay. We have Kaysen from Miss O'Connor's class. Come on down and get that prize. All right, nice work guys. And our new trivia is coming out to you also. New trivia, so our K through two this week, this is kind of fun to go with our Halloween or fall uh, theme. We have how many, so Halloween counting up to 10. So you're gonna look at the pictures, you are going to count the objects and write the number of how many there are. And there's pumpkins, there's uh, cats, there's witches, there's bats. So much fun stuff. And then our three through five trivia question this week. The music room has red, blue, and green chairs. There are 10 red chairs and 12 blue chairs. There are four times as many green chairs as red chairs. How many chairs are there all together? Mm. Sounds like you're gonna have to read through that carefully and take more than one step to find the answer. All right, thank you for that, Mr. Wolf. Now it's time to look and see who won our golden plunger and our golden tray. And if we're talking about the golden plunger, it's our fourth and fifth grade girls. All right, ladies, nice job taking care of your space. And our golden tray goes to? Second grade, congratulations. Nice job, second grade. Miss Anderson, I just wanted to point out something that's going to be starting here coming up is we are gonna be tracking in the cafeteria who's winning that golden tray. Okay, so Miss McDonald has worked really, really hard on creating a graph for us that's gonna be posted in our cafeteria and we are gonna mark every time a grade level wins that golden tray because we wanna know who is winning that golden tray consistently because we wanna make sure that we recognize them for that hard work. And then also, I like popping popcorn. Who knows, that might be popping. All right, on to our birthdays. Happy birthday to you. We have several birthdays this week. We have Alex in fifth grade. We have Isabel in third grade. Myla Gilbert in third grade. Misha in fourth grade. Salem in first grade. And Calvin in fourth grade. And also a very happy, happy birthday to Miss Adams, our kindergarten teacher. All right, let's please stand and put your hand over your heart for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to the, the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we hope you have a wonderful Thursday and enjoy your weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.